Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Overthink Final Fantasy X. I'm back to play Geek Girls game. Lady Yuna, it is good to see you made it through safely. Hey look, it's these guys. And, if I may, congratulations on your betrothal. Maester Seymour's people are expecting you. Great. Take that road to go to Makalania Temple. Everyone is taking Yuna's response for granted, and yes, she said that she has decided to reply in the affirmative, but it is extremely rude in pre-matrimonial circles to assume the yes before it has actually and in person been granted. Oh, but Seymour asked her to marry him, so of course she will. Of course. Deep city. I will say that in my opinion this game does an excellent job of making you dislike Seymour before there's what you might call a plot relevant reason for it. it when he has to think. Mr. Seymour awaits. Please hurry. Buddy, you leave Lady Yuna in my hands? I think you misunderstand the nature of the relationship here. You do not leave Yuna in her guardian's hands. She is always in her guardian's hands, and... The existence of Seymour does not somehow make that any less the case. Ow. On the bright side, when you are turned to stone, nothing can harm you. You just also don't count as a party member for terms of preventing a game over, which is bad. Now that we've got two of the bad guys out of the way, let's just fix pizza. See, I think I may be a little underleveled and in need of some level grinding or better equipment. You'll notice that Titus is not using the Brotherhood Sword at this time, and that's because after seeing Chapu in the Far Plane, it gained some additional buffs but also Water Strike. And this is the Water Dungeon, insofar as there is one. Certainly, uh. Don't look so shocked. All the elemental monsters are strong against water. Okay. Actually, use Kimara's overdrive for once, but outside of a boss battle. Stone Breath is my favorite to use against regular enemies because it will just take them out like that. And the reason I used that is that he can also learn a new overdrive from those very chimeras. The next time we encounter one, oh look, there one is. All Kamari has to do is lance it again. 
and that teaches him Aqua Breath. Very useful since it's a hits all damaging attack. Shield us from watery woe. And it refills his overdrive gauge completely. Okay, now these guys attack on a cycle, and I just need to remember what order the cycle is. It has thunder, physical, water, and fire, and water is the really nasty one. So that was thunder, physical, and I think next is water, and the one after that is fire. Yes. Aqua Breath, which is what Kamari just learned from it, hits all targets. Megiddo Flame is the last one in the cycle that we haven't seen, and it hits only one target, but it does a lot of damage. So Yuna is absolutely invaluable when it comes to fighting these guys, because it, it is much cheaper in terms of MP to have her uh, making them immune to three out of the four attacks than it is to be actually dealing with the amount of damage that gets turned out. Guardian should fight, not think. Huh? He just really has something against thinking. Mostly because he doesn't have enough information to make good decisions at the moment, so he's just kind of foiling in a circle. It's over. If Lulu's actually on level with everybody and I ha don't mess up and underlevel her, she's a really good damage deal. Unfortunately, she's also on the limiter of MP. Oh hey, there's something focus really on the enemy. here for. Huh. Let's pick up that one. Well, let's see if you've got high enough magic to be able to one shot. Not quite. Them very easy. I'm gonna fix this. As you can see from the damage sheet differential, 1500 to the elemental and a mere 500 to that thing with the same spell. A lot of the things that are not meant to have Ru use magic on them are really strong against magic. Otherwise you, you just sail through the game have with you seen Donna? Uh-oh. Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? Remember about the summoners going missing? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Yeah. Calm down. But... If anything happens to her, couldn't have happened to a kind of gentle person. Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. But guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. <sighs> You're right. It's Rich Oren saying this. Who is? Shall we search? what you might call extremely emotionally no, invested in his first time. summer. Thank you, Sir Aaron. But I guess he knows how much harder it makes everything. 
What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea on paper, didn't it, Riku? But then, when you see someone in a panic because the most important thing in the world to them has gone missing, less of a good idea. That is more what I'm talking about. God darn it. Oh, stone again. I'll put up once. is an area where I tend to run up hard against Yuna's MP limit as a, the limiting factor. Because it's a long dungeon and you need a lot of healing. A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. These fun musical forest denizens about whom nothing else is ever really specified. Right, so there's the butterfly hunt minigame here, where if you touch the butterfly that I have just run past, it activates and you want to get seven blue butterflies in the time. If you hit a red one, you have to fight powerful, slightly more powerful versions of these monsters, and you lose precious seconds, because you only have until time runs out. I'm not going to do that at this time, because to be perfectly honest, you guys deserve better than watching me uh, fumble around failing and having to repeat myself. It's a pretty standard uh, thing win prize. God damn it, Tudis, not again. We're here because somebody couldn't stay alive. Okay, get up. Important moments in two of the subplots. First, there's the Seymour and Yuna's romantic life subplot, which is pretty obvious where it's going. Nowhere good. And then there's the disappearing summoners subplot, which we first heard about back in Jose. So, not all that long ago, just a couple stops on the road. But then there was. Riku, meeting Riku after she tried to grab Yuna, and now meeting Bartello after Donna has disappeared. Wow, I w the first time I played I was stuck right at that place for a really long time because I did not realize that you could go up that next run. I thought it was a dead end, I was so confused. Poor baby Beth, who doesn't know how to read maps. Alright, so 
physical, which means that next is water, and next after that is fire. a subplot in another couple dungeons it will solidly resolve. But the Seymour and Yuna thing ties much more strongly into what you might call the main plot and will just keep showing up indefinitely. And by indefinitely I mean until we finally manage to dismember the little shit the way he deserves. I don't like Seymour much, or rather, I love him as a character, he makes an excellent villain, but I don't like him. He's horrible. He is the worst. And yeah, I'm totally informed by, oh hello, there was a treasure chest there. Totally informed by what he will do later in how I think of him now, but I think it's fairly clear that he's planning to do all that up by now, so You're I don't have time. to forgive him for it. Wow, you inflicted silence on somebody who doesn't use magic. No one cares. Poison, significantly more care inducing. on the end of this area. Like I said, it's a bit of a slug, particularly if you're interested primarily in the plot because it is very touching low. In the middle of it. I trimmed it down as best I could and moved through as quickly as possible without any leveling pauses. Watching to steal from things a lot, so there's that. Jumping into before it's taken before the chimera has done an attack, I always start off with null tide because that is the most damaging in terms of potential party wipe of its possible attacks. 
like maybe your friend could KO one party member, but it only but it and the physical and thunder attacks only hit one. Aqua Breath hits everybody, so the null spell is most important to have. In a lot of ways, the Chimeras are training for a boss fight in our near future, about which I will say a little more, except that there's going to be a lot of casting null spells on things. Pausing to avoid that because that's the other and harder butterfly side quest. It's the same as the first one, but it is more difficult. Tap the save sphere. Welcome! Holiday prices on all items in celebration of nice to see more waters ready. Too expensive, you think? I did a lot of shopping in there, but you deserve better than to see that. Up here, there is an Albed Primer, which you can't see. You just have to kind of know it's there. Yeah, I know. Great Wait. and awesome. It is here. Somewhere. What's here? Something you should see. But, Sir Oren... We're kind of on a time crunch. It won't take long. I mean, it's not technically a time crunch, since there's no time by which we have to be anywhere. Just, you know, as soon as possible. But no, we're just going to cut down some trees instead. They grow fast if they grew up all over that trail in ten years. Like, those are some big crystal tree stumps. This is a lovely area, and I'm sure it will be very calming and re relaxing to take a moment to stand here and talk. Nothing this bad could possibly happen. It's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and water. preserves people's memories. What's that? Even you just put it into a little device with... Fiends are also attracted to these Pause, places. Pause, play, stop, and record, and there you go. Uh, there's no point in unloading anybody's overdrive here. Because... This guy is virtually immune to physical attacks. What it is, is a game of... Elemental rejigger. As you can see, Lulu's attack did easily ten times as much damage as yours. But every time somebody physically attacks the elemental sphere of doom, it will counterattack with a certain element of spell. You take that spell and that's its current elemental type. So you want to attack it with the spell of the opposing element. So, say Titus comes in here, he just hits it. It counters him with thunder. That means that we know that you need to hit it with a water spell. And we just play a game called Keep Lulu Alive at All Costs. It's fortunate when its attacks miss. Just want to get everybody in the game. 
another thunder attack. Which means another water attack. And so on and so forth. does press. I hate press because it does a lot of damage very quickly. is one of those 50% attacks. So it will not it itself will never kill you, but its counter attack will or one of its other attacks. Okay, it's important to keep Lulu up and then important to keep Yuna up. Something behind. Jack's sphere? A sphere belonging to Jack? Fascinating. And a level 2 key sphere. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Jack left it here 10 years ago. <gasps> the plot thickened. Play it back. Or while the character mm -hmm. moments thicken. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? Is the Bevel so I thought I'd record it all in again. this. Seeing to show to my wife later. and kid, you know. This is no He's pleasure cruise. A live hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a it's grand occasion? Vision. Where are the cheering fans, and the Braska crying women? This is it. Something on Too many head. goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer down. to him? Do I gotta... Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Oh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. 
off screen, they fight. What's the point? Which is probably the whole thing in a summary cruise. of Orin and Jeff for at least the first half fighting all the time. I well, not that post character but you know what? I guess. There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Somebody's Remember, doing a lot of crying of his own. You're my son. And, well, uh, I remember. Never mind, I'm no good at See, these this things. This is in no danger of being allowed to forget. sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. And the thing is, it is too late for Jet Jack to, as Titus' father. Had already accepted his fate. Because... His fate? Regardless. Jack, he, he was always talking he, he about going home to Zenerkin. Went through character development. That's why he took all those as pictures. As Orin is describing. To show but them to you this when is he after returned. he disappeared, so but as, he as Titus's with us father, and came to understand these Spira things never really happened. It in happened a very real way, he but Jack changed. He decided person, he would join Braska. But Titus's his father never sin. changed. Titus's father disappeared so then and stopped changing. He gave up going stopped home? being anything other than that an idea. Was his decision? I guess I understood. My old man. He knew there was no way back home. Back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted oh my God, it. They're taking turns projecting Besides, their even own if he had found a way back, onto each other. I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right. Because you can't Let's go, guys. think that isn't him Maybe talking I about had himself. To start my he wouldn't own have fate. left his friends behind. Yeah, that's you, dear. Jet spheres, they're how you upgrade orange overdrives. And, you know, see important past cutscenes. Wait. Yeah? Jack loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. And it does matter to him to hear that, even if it's not from Jack himself. So that was a meaty set of cutscenes at the end, and it's only going to get busier from here. So this is all for this time. No episode on Thursday because the holidays impede recording, but I'll see you next week. Have a great time.